This was a racist act. It is being investigated as a hate crime, as we know, because it just happened Saturday. But from what you're saying, are you saying there's a direct crime that you believe, or there's a direct link from what you believe from Governor DeSantis's policies to this incident? I think that the, it adds to the climate where dehumanizing people that are different from you is seen as acceptable. You know, we have progressed so much as a country to embrace diversity, to be open to debate of ideas and to evolve as people. And, and unfortunately, in Florida, under leadership of Governor Ron DeSantis, it's been the opposite. We've seen debate be canceled. We've seen diversity be banned, especially in the context of uh, higher education right now, but he's even attempted to ban diversity education in businesses. Um, and of course, we have seen individuals in the legislature, you know, kind of just become drunk on power, whether they're not even entertaining different ideas or perspectives because they don't need to. That's been the climate in the legislature. And so obviously, there's other dynamics to this. I mean, in particular, easy access to firearms can also, has also created the climate that we're in. And Governor DeSantis did sign permitless carry into law. And the legislature actually wanted to reduce the age to purchase an assault ri rifle from 21 back to 18. And fortunately, the Senate did not entertain that. So the buying age is still 21. But this, this, this young, domestic terrorist who murdered three people, he legally acquired all of his firearms. And so what does that say about our ability to also put into place common sense gun safety legislation to try to prevent that from happening? So I, I think there are responsibilities on the hands of policymakers in any situation of, of terror or natural disaster to that point. Um, but at the end of the day, this is one individual who committed a crime, but he's committed that crime and that murder in the context of a larger ecosystem that pol the political climate has created. Let's talk about that a little further, because what you're saying, Demo when there is a shooting in this country, I mean, we do see the same cycle. Largely, Democrats come out and say we need common sense gun reform. We need stricter gun laws. Republicans largely say now is not the time to get political. So when do you think the time right. is to get political? Yeah, that's a great question. And it's, it can be very uncomfortable for folks that, you know, also are not that political already. I think for those of us that live and breathe politics, it might feel more natural. Um, my perspective is that everything is political. You know, one of, one of the phrases that I grew up learning when I was in college is the personal is political. And that basically speaks to how every part of our lives, good or bad, has a political connection. And so I think that every moment is going to be political in nature. It is important when it comes to prioritizing your response that you always center on the victims, right? And, and I will say many victims, whether it's in situations of gun violence or other situations, they help set the tone too. And, and, and we should focus on crisis response. I have been actively sharing, for example, the GoFundMe campaigns and uh, of those impacted, because I do think it's important that we take care of those impacted, regardless of politics. That should be everyone's responsibility. But at the end of the day, when you have a crisis, and especially one like this, where it just keeps happening. I mean, we've had so many mass shootings in America, and they don't seem to be ending. We have false alarms in Florida, and it's you have to take everyone seriously because the risk of it being true is so high that if you don't, then you might regret it. So we have this climate now, this culture now, where we always think that there's a gun involved, even when there isn't. But a part of that is we've created a state where guns are everywhere. And so I, I do think that there is clear public responsibility here. I, I, I think that political action is necessary. And I will tell you being at the rally in Jacksonville, that was the call to action. Yeah, there was actually a very powerful testimony from many faith leaders. And one of the faith leaders said, um, I didn't come here to pray, I came here for revolution. And I, I do think that the attitude, you know, even among communities who may, who may typically shy away from politics has shipped change because too much blood has, has, has been 
loss on the ground to these acts of shooting for us to continue to pretend like politics doesn't play a role or for us to be scared to talk about politics at this time.